Let's pray. And as we do so, I invite you to share in the response that's coming up on the screen now. When I say the words, Lord of glory, I invite you to respond. Grant us your peace. Lord of glory, grant us your peace. Lord, as you love us, help us to love one another. We pray for unity and peace in your church. Increase our fellowship with one another and our openness to those who see things differently or approach you in a different way. Give us the courage to proclaim the saving and unifying power of your cross. And may your church be instrumental in bringing peace and reconciliation in your world. Lord of glory, grant us your peace. We pray for peace in our hearts, in our communities, in our world. We pray that as far as it is possible for us, that we will live at peace with others. We pray for those making peace in troubled spots of the world. We pray particularly for brothers and sisters in Kabul after the horrific attack during the week. But Father God, in this time, we have all realized just how vulnerable we can all be. And we pray that we might recognize the value of working together rather than the being divided and apart. May we discover common purpose rather than simply seeking our own interest first. Lord of glory, grant us your peace. Lord, we pray for all those who are not at peace in their relationships. For those whose relationships have become strained by spending more time together than normal. For those who are separated from those they love. For those for whom isolation is not good for their mental health. For those anxious about having to return to work or having to travel to work on public transport. We pray for those whose jobs put them on the front line of coronavirus. And we pray for those within our church family and beyond who are troubled with physical health, both coronavirus and otherwise, and for those awaiting test results and treatment. We pray for those caring for loved ones who are unwell. Lord of glory, grant us your peace. Lord, we offer you our prayers as your people. May we be drawn closer and closer to you and closer and closer to each other. For it's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And why don't we share in the prayer that Jesus taught us? Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen.